Hi, I'm Phil Kurz, and this is Broadcast Engineering Sound Off. Jim Goodman, President and CEO of Capital Broadcasting, says he feels the FCC has abandoned the broadcast industry. Why? Because the FCC's new national broadband plan calls for broadcasters to give up 120 megahertz of spectrum to meet future demand for wireless Internet broadband service. Goodman pioneered digital HDTV in the United States by putting his WRAL-TV on the air in high definition in 1996. Since then, he's worked hard to be a DTV innovator, launching a local news and information channel on a digital subchannel, experimenting with data casting, and being the first to kick off mobile DTV transmission. No wonder the Commission's plan doesn't sit well with Goodman. In this podcast interview, Goodman explains why the new FCC plan is a threat to over-the-air TV, which he says is entering a golden age. A special note to listeners. Be sure to listen to part two of my conversation with Jim Goodman to get the rest of the story. Jim Goodman, thanks for joining me today. My pleasure. WRAL was the nation's first station on the air with a digital transmission. Now the FCC chairman has proposed paying broadcasters who relinquish spectrum in an attempt to meet future wireless Internet broadband service needs. What are your thoughts about that proposal? Well, I, I've, uh, I, I have been saying uh, that, by the way, I think the digital transition has been wonderfully successful. I, you know, it took way too long, but it's been wonderfully successful. I call this the golden age of broadcasting. I mean, we, we've got it all together now. We're technology leaders. We're leading in programming. I, you think the top... 100 pro- programs on television, on all television last week, 95 of them were on broadcast. I mean, so we, we are, uh, th- this is a wonderful time for broadcasting. And now this comes, this whole idea comes, you know, as a real shock. I think everybody's interested in everybody having uh, affordable Internet access. But the notion, the way we're going to do that is to, is to really cripple broadcasting is is uh, I, you know I, I'm, I'm I'm very much I don't know where that comes from. Although I'll point out that uh, after Reed Hunt's speech, in which the former chairman says that he decided that broadcasting is no longer important and that the internet's important, and he says that he on purpose delayed the digital transition. That this is all beginning to come together a little bit and you know it's Reed Hunt's advisor that is doing the broadband plan for for Jenikowski so we've got the, the new chairman who announces a broadband plan by the way if you take a look at his his academic advisor while he was at Duke wrote an article that we need to get rid of broadcasting by just pil- piling more and more regulation on them so they'll eventually quit that's Jenikowski's academic advisor so I would say that the FCC has the, the chairman and his advisors no longer support the idea of free over-the-air television. For some reason, I have no idea what it is. I, I have no idea what it. They can obviously expand broadband and take care of this their whole broadband plan and never touch broadcast spectrum. I mean, I, I don't know why they picked the broadcast spectrum. There's a whole lot of spectrum out there. That's why we're asking them to do an inventory and further. I would suggest that the fact that I'm a, I'm a television station and I broadcast a 19 megabit signal and all 2 million people in my market, if they have a TV set, can watch it. Right? We're the most spectrum efficient system there is. You know, if I've got 100,000 people watching the 6 o'clock news over the air, do you know how many? You know, there's not enough Internet connection to give 100,000 people 19 megabits. So I have no idea why they want to do away with the most efficient and free service. My, the, my second thing is because of the importance of homeland security and because of the, all of the issues we have with homeland security and emergency information and shooting on campuses and all the different things that are going on in the United States, broadcasting is the way to contact everybody instantaneously, particularly when we go mobile. All right, they're going to be 300 million mobile telephones that can watch broadcast. So this this whole thing is, the, the, I support the notion that the Internet's important. I, I'm also concerned that the Commission thinks that everybody should have to pay for everything they get. Right, they're taking us from a free service to one in which everybody has to pay, and it will be controlled by a few large companies that will make you pay for everything. 
So I, I, I don't, I'm at a loss. And the Reed Hunt speech has, has really thrown me. And evidently, it's been going on a long time to get rid of broadcasting. So it cost us a whole, the, all of the delays in the, broadca- in the digital transition, that was a very expensive thing. I mean, we changed channels three times. So you see what I mean? I, I mean, I, I have no, I, I feel like that we have been, the broadcasting industry has been abandoned by the commission. I think we now are at our best. We can do more than we've ever done, and I have no idea why they've abandoned us. That, it doesn't make any sense. They're picking on us. Of all the spectrum out there, you want to pick the spectrum that provides free local news to people? I mean, of all the spectrum out there, you want to do Internet, wireless Internet. But, you know, most of these pops can do 70 or 80 people. I mean, why, you know, Internet is point to point. Right. And Internet is one stream, one stream to one user, right? That's right. We broadcast. We can go to hundreds of thousands of people with one stream. Now, so why are you going to, and they can get it for free. Now, why are you going to take that away so that people can be charged for a few slow streams? You've referenced former Chairman Hunt's speech to the Columbia Business School, and yeah. one of the points that he made was that broadcasting had been selected by the government as the common medium for the nation. And now, under his watch, he had made the decision that the Internet was going to be that First of all, as a longtime owner of a uh, television station and as a longtime broadcaster, were you aware that you were receiving favorable treatment from the government as a common medium? No. Okay. I don't know. It's, it's not favorable. It's, it's, it, we're just part of it. No, and I think broadcasting is fine. Cable's fine. Satellite's fine. Internet's fine. Uh, these new uh, these new video uh, technologies, you know, uh, using the, all that's fine. But I, I can't imagine the, the way that we're going to improve things is get rid of the free service. Should the government the best that has the best programming? Should the government be in the business through policy of choosing one no, service or the other? No, no. And, and and my point is, it you know leaving broadcasting alone is not making broadcast the favorite. We're just one part of what's going on. He was, and, and I think, I, I mean, I don't think it is necessarily to dismantle broadcasting in order to expand broadband. In other words, do you think there are other motives uh, behind this? Well, why would they get so much of their spectrum just from us? Right. You know, I think maybe they've forgotten the whole idea of localism. I, I, I don't know. You know, we, we do local news. We do all that kind of stuff, and we do all that stuff for free. Now, why do you want to get rid of us? And by the way, they, they make all the rules. We, we do what they tell us to do, right? So if you, if you don't think broadcasters are doing what they should do, then tell us what you want us to do. I've been saying that for 25 years. I think the chairman of the FCC is supposed to support, nourish, improve, expand, get more owners, uh, make broadcasting better for everybody, which we've done with digital and the notion you walk in, select the advisor you do, and then announce you're taking our spectrum away is very difficult to understand. There isn't any technical person that I know that believes their selection of spectrum makes sense. I mean, and there, by the way, there isn't anybody that doesn't agree that we need to expand the Internet. So there's a, is, is it a vendetta? Is, what is it? Me, I I'm the Pollyanna. I'm, I'm the guy who says... We're in the golden age of broadcasting. We can do everything now. Right. We're a better service than we've been. We're the best service anybody has ever seen now. And you wait till all these mobile phones get out there. And b- by the way, we are essential to public safety long range. Why would you take down the free service that everybody can get? Why would you take down the free service? For Broadcast Engineering, I'm Phil Kurz.